Hi, this is a chord and secant example problem from the AMC, so let's see what we have. A circle of radius r has chords AB of length 10, CD of length 7. When AB and CD are extended through B and C, they intersect at P outside the circle. If angle APD is 60 degrees and BP is equal to 8, then r square of the circle is equal to what? Okay, so this is probably a case where a careful drawing can help us, so Let's see if we can uh, try to construct this uh, figure. So we have chord AB of length 10 that we have to extend out to a point P. Let's do that. Chord AB such that BP is 8, AB is 10. And it looks like we're trying to create another chord CD that also intersects at point P to form a 60 degree angle with the first chord. So let's try to draw that in. And we're also trying to have the second chord be roughly of length seven. So let's see if we can incorporate that as well. So to my eye, this would create a secant chord roughly as shown. So we have this being CD and CD is of length 7, and this angle here is 60 degrees. So now looking at this figure, I really can't see how to use this information to calculate the radius or the diameter of the circle. So I'm not quite sure how to proceed here, but there's one clue I do pick up on, and that is in the AMC, it's often the case that uh, problems are not generally solvable unless the angle is 60 degrees. So very often the 60 degree angle is what enables you to solve a problem that you really couldn't solve any other way. So I kind of key on the fact that there's a 60 degree angle here that might help me at some point in the problem. But I'm still not quite sure how to use that. But I do know how to calculate one other length in this figure. I think I know how to calculate dp from the secant uh, multiplication formula. So uh, let's try to calculate uh, the length of uh, dp, just to see if we can get this problem started. So we'll call that x, and from the secant multiplication formula, we know that ap times bp is equal to cp times dp, and from that we can draw out that uh, 8 times 18 is equal to x times x plus 7, Multiply that out, move it to one side, and it looks like we can factor this as we can in most AMC problems. This is not a sensible root, but this is. So x equal 9 looks like uh, that's the value of this uh, line length. Now let's see here, does that give us any clue as to how to find the diameter of the circle? Well, I do notice now that the length of CP is now a total length of 16, and that is an important clue, because now CP is double of BP. And that should ring a bell, because for a 60 degree triangle, the hypotenuse is twice the length of the shorter leg. And so that's a really big clue now, because what that tells us is that this line CP, or CB, excuse me, is actually forming a right triangle. So now this is a uh, 1, 2, root 3 right triangle, and because this is a right angle, we know that AC is in fact the diameter of the circle. Not quite drawn correctly in this figure, but close enough. So now we see a, a really quick path to solving this problem, because we can use these two uh, triangle lengths to calculate the third length, and then use the Pythagorean theorem again to calculate the diameter, and then from the diameter we can calculate the radius. So let's see how to do that. So we have this length 8, so we know that uh, this leg is 8 root 3, and now we know that uh, the diameter squared is equal to 10 squared plus 8 root 3 squared, so that's 3 times 64, 100 plus 192, that's uh, 292. And the radius squared is just the diameter squared divided by 4. 
So that's uh, 292 divided by 4, and that's 73, which is choice D. Anyway, a fairly tricky problem, so it's helpful to try to use these tools and just sort of advance the problem, even if you're not quite sure how it's going to lead to the solution. And hopefully that helped, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.